ADHD in. for sure. He's like, I can't stop. CAC's Put me in right. the fight now. So DC needs more than like, okay, the Weehaw hero. So that's the Ember Spirit picked up. This is a CC hero that he plays very consistently yeah. too. And he doesn't have to worry about an Earth Spirit getting in his face. So this is great Yeah, you know, for him. That's, that's the one thing that we were a bit worried about if the Earth Spirit was going to roam on the mid a little bit, but looks like he's prioritizing the other lanes. Frauds now looking like he's in trouble. They have three spells on him. Oh, Misery rotated to the top, so that's why the DC are looking to make their move, but they got the fat target here, and they're going to be able to break him down. Frauds will be the first to drop, and they're going to make it a two for possibly... No, MJW, he gets the yeah, leap off. Yeah. Uh-oh, follow-up stun is there. Rotations come, but they're going to be too late. Stan King's here now, but just to kind of hang out for some XP. Great move by Misery there, kind of interesting. Just wouldn't block any of the Ember spells. The Searing Chains doesn't do enough no, damage. Really. The Chains at level 2... Yeah, not early. Not sure. Do enough damage. It's, so. You're gonna want a max Flame Guard in that matchup. <laughs> I feel I feel like I hear that way too often. So the one thing about the Ogre though, being oh. off lane is that a Roaming Ember. Much. The pre-6 yeah. movement by Weeha. Yeah. How's it going, everybody? And now he could be in trouble. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Oh, God. oh no. Yeah, that was not how they planned it going. And when you're already struggling in lane, you're making this rotation to try and catch up. Because you're HCS, you're like, okay, I'm losing my lane. If I get a kill at bottom, that's going to create some space for my team and find myself up. Oh, yeah, he's yeah, he's dead as well. Oh, my God. That's really, really detrimental. Double kill, both of them going to it's Beast of the Troll. Hey, but yeah, outside of that, CC's farming love ridiculously well in this mid yeah. lane. and. Now bottom lane has just kind of been set. Yeah, I mean kill wise they're faring well top lane, but the void has more CS than the Sven at this point, so it's yeah. still concerning. And trolls got ulti now, so whenever they have the chrono, they can probably they can probably make their first move. Yeah, they've got Bloodlust and Battle Trance, so should be more than enough, I feel, to grab a kill. Unless he gets the war cry off like Unless he dies here too. Dies. <laughs> Oh, they got kind of baited nice, a bit to soften up resolution, well. yeah. Both. Yeah, Ogre Magi takes zero damage though. <laughs> That's what I thought the first time around, but they right. killed him off. So far. Yeah, but CC's just literally versus nobody in the mid lane. Weeha accepted the fact oh, yeah. that he can't do anything there. He's just jungling. Whew. Namu. Looks like he should be in trouble here. Yeah. They have the disruption held. He's going for like the same spot as before, but this yeah, time he should go down. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> NA observer. <laughs> Yeah, that looked like a that actually... So he goes down while uh... short of the chronosphere at this point. Yeah, okay. but oh, looks like he's actually gonna go down to here again. Yeah, yeah. MJW stuck, no way to bail him out, and he's just caught in a hot mess yeah. of creeps here. Oh, oh, but finds his way to the low ground at least. But misery on chase doesn't connect with the rolling boulder. But uh, MJW does. Man up that. Oh, he's just like my best chance is going man man mode there. Yeah, it was. If they had mana for battle train. Get in there. But it would be desirable to, you know, take out that tier 1 in the offlane beforehand. Yeah. The vision isn't the best for DC as far as what no, they have available. Troll the raid. Heroes. Troll is getting dove. Troll is gone. And yeah, she gets killed right after he picks up his dominator. De being chased around in the jungle a bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. But he's got team nearby. He could bait them in maybe to some trouble. They have to know that top lane left, though. But they're going to go for it anyways. Boulder smash, full on silence. MJW probably with a chrono, but he gets a magnetize there. And he's going to unleash it. Disruption will oh, help. Battle chance was subsided a bit, but they made their move for Sasuke, so at least they'll be able to trade supports, it looks like. Yeah, but that curse, way. though. MJW can be in trouble. He'll have to time walk out of there. CC's here, though. He gets kicked right in the face and back out of the battle, but... Side there step. we go. Big, the big, yeah, big catch of the chains right there, and now it turns into a hot mess here for FDL. And wow, CC could end up going down, and he's he's, he's, dead. he's got a pretty penny That's in his huge. pocket. Oh! Oh! He gets misery before All he right. dies, though. Nice little cheap shot in the chin. <laughs> a little they they held the chrono there. The raindrop as well. I like that. Looks like people are everyone's buying raindrops. But no games with like eight eight plus raindrops. No ring of a killer though on him, and I don't think I saw one on CC either. Nice, nice stone efficiency there. That's That's work. Really Kick, nice. pull back, and uh, looks like they'll be able to finish him off. He's got two stones, and he's dead. More int for Saxa. Yep. I don't think that's. The, I think one of them should have it. Yeah, absolutely. Like, there's, there's no reason not completing it. I know we were talking a bit about it yesterday, and like the efficiency between that and raindrop. But right, here's the chrono. They need to do this fast. Helps on the way. Looks like they'll get it. Moo. Vacuums them back. Oh, he gets hit with a nice little bash. Let's see. Now with Stan King here, Surge they're used. looking to turn it over. Can they make any sort of catch? They're slow though. Oh, oh. they spot out Weehaw below. And Beast is looking to make his move. He gets the remnant off. Ah, gets bash. a bash. Makes it down to low ground. Oh. Pops back up! Oh no! Oh man. Oh no! It's minus twos. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, without the uh -oh. kill, you he might. definitely have a problem. Sasuke's there. floating in, leads in with the curse. Help me, man, dude. Block them away. This is minus two if he does. You can heal him. 
There's four people surrounding him. He looks he is very dead. nowhere to go. Okay, can he juke his way out from this one? That's a TP. Whirling axes, Doesn't but like uh, <laughs> misery's waiting. <laughs> With a stone, kicks him down. We was like, please give me the last hit, for God's sake, thank you. And actually, they suddenly peer, and they want to make a move for Lady TA, but there is FDL members making their approach from Pretty the mid lane, flanking from both sides. Can they get CC down first? Jump in with the magnetize, they certainly can. As a buyback, if they do want to turn this into a fight. They're just a few seconds late. Oh, very well. DC make their chase chrono. Immediate global vacuum back. Stan King goes down. Forces MJW to time walk and try to go for a TP to physical miss. based. Yeah. And yeah, the damage block is incredibly good versus that. I'm not implying me, by the way. I'm playing in viewers, of course. <laughs> Franz, though, looks like he's getting mugged. That's a final on one gank. <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous how long he actually lives, though. Rain drop plus enable silence from your teammates because it has such a low cooldown. Oh, you're right. Very short range. But Very short. For misery, tried to get off, but looked like the magnetize at least, but uh, he know, goes that's down. That's really the target they want. He takes the gank. Yeah. Poor DC. But they have no other catch. That's the problem, though. It's like you, your ogre's not in range to use his stun. So unless you get a first hit bash, that's, that earth spirit might just roll away if you don't chrono. That's a big limitation of FDL's draft is that... Yeah, losing this tower is huge, though. This is their last access point to Roche. That was a good trade so far for DC, but here yeah. comes FDL from behind. Alright, with that, Stan King tanks a gank of his own. FDL. And FDL... Refraction to the east on CC and C. And now they yeah, make their like move make down their below. Yeah, they see He's that TA trouble. is a bit on his own. There's going to be the global. They get him with the stun. He the goes down for a separate fight on the side. It looks like it was. Yeah, he was trying to yeah. save himself. They got Sasuke, but he got his global off, so his job is done here. With a curse, too. It's going to get refreshed. Pawns as he pops out all these spells. Visa says, I want a man mode, but whirling axes and that finds no target. MJW is going to be taken down. They look for Franz. He looks for a TP. The time dilation. <laughs> he couldn't use the slight fist combo. Even though like, he, had, he had arcane rune, but he couldn't use anything. He's just like running around. Uh, it was in a different style of draft. It looks like they want to go for Beastie here. Oh, this would be very unfortunate for FDL, but it looks like it will be a successful gank lead-in. Meaning the Magnetize now, and there's really nothing much to be done. Stanking's on the way, but... More in. How does FDL really want to approach taking fights? They have to find a way to pick people off. Top lane. Looks like this might be the move. Yeah, this is a blink MJW, so they get oh, to jump in. A global carry. It's a safety net. Weha's going to be able to jump away to safety. And uh, they're going to take down... Contribute damage, and that's actually, as you mentioned, probably what makes him miss there. <laughs> Meanwhile, they just take out the Roche with the Solar Crest and the Sven. Chrono off here from the side. He's got like the perfect Chrono. Solar Crest and Sven in the front line too. He's just, th there's no way they can kill the Sven. Misery's positioning really good to scout this out, but yeah. Jump in. There it was. He gets back more. Big catch. Misery tries his best to get off a boulder smash, but it might not be enough. They're going to take Sasuka down first, which is their best target to eliminate the global. Can they make the most out of this moment, though? Misery's going to be able to get off the magnetize. The wall had been committed, and DC repositioned and stepped back. Misery ends up with a double kill, and it looks like it's not going to be enough this time, friends. But the TA there is kind of tickles. That's with the Desolator. Yeah. That's like the, that was the perfect fight basically yeah. for them. They didn't get the 5 bank chrono, but they got 4 bank chrono on the, the low ground. The Smash didn't even hit that many people. Yeah. They, it just it side control. Control. Yeah, it just hit the troll. Uh, it, was, it was perfect. I felt like I didn't even see the troll in that fight. Yeah, he got bouldered. He just got bouldered and then yeah. he couldn't even get in after that. I saw the TA, TA was attacking the yeah, entire the time. Don't get controlled. Time. Regardless, I mean, even if the troll was contributing, maybe they get the darks here and that's it. Well, and that's the problem with not going with the diverse uh, damage profile. I mean, when you're, it's just it's just so easy to itemize against. So, but gotta apply that to man. Troll warlord, you know. Oh yeah, I agree. They, they had a, they had a really tried. solid early game. Like, yeah. It's just like I said, like things went started going south. When that should have been their best moment to shine. Yeah. Like, we should have been seeing Chronos like that with the TA slashing them apart. It just came too late. You know, credit to DC. Weeha was just getting spanked in that mid lane with the matchup as it was, but they found a couple picks, they got him back in the game. He got a Solar Crest, and DC just kind of itemized appropriately. They're going to get some final giggles in the end, though. They'll be able to slash apart Moo. Yeah, oh, poor Moo. <laughs> Like, come on, man! I'm bowing out. Uh, I was wondering why they were chasing out of base here. Oh, they're gonna get, oh, they're gonna get resolution as well. Beast almost goes down. Looks like Emperor Switch to be able to clean him up. How many dollars? <laughs> here we go. A couple of freebies here. Let's see if they can get it. Earn. 
Misery? Got, got him. That's... Now it feels good. There we go. Five oh. kills. Okay. Yep. Wow. Five man wipe. Yep. All right. There we go. They lost their axes, but... Here. And catch DC from behind? It's possible. And he's going to go for it. It's a jump for Wee. Wee. That could be a quick burst of the Ember. He does Still have a buyback. They're going to get Ember buyback as well. Yep, they want to make the best out of this one. Global goes out. CC's being chased down. And he has to use his BKB to try to make it out and away. Stan King will be the first to drop from the side of FDL on this one. And Beast is still caught in the heat of the fight right here. They try to kite him around. MJW gets up in arms with Misery, but we continue to chase on the Bisa. Long stun will connect. Weeha joins Resolution in arms, and they'll be able to burst down the troll. And with that, DC will get the end of this really safe. But yeah. Realistically, without a chrono, exactly. I, I think yeah. chances to defend high ground are pretty slim. Oh, oh CC. CC gets caught. He gets forced away, but already so much damage had been done. He'll go down 80 seconds. No buyback. That means TA will not be here for what could be the final defense of FDL. can add some utility I guess can be killed oh you can catch as many as you can just for yeah <laughs> for, just for the sake of making that cyber like all catch him in a perfectly straight line getting on bottom and he dies like instantly from the spend wow okay. yeah that's fast kill and he is not going to be around for this Misery defense can but this can FDL well. hit him a t-bone crash here we go they run right in who's gonna get stunned up Beast is looking to go for Misery while his other teammates are making a move for the others. Mu is going to not get caught in this chrono, but they catch Sokka and we. Oh, that yeah. chrono just working right against them there. Yeah. Vacuum into it. Nice cleaves coming out. Targeting their decision making there just seems yeah. very all over. Plenty of time for Mu to like go, okay, how can I set up this vacuum? And that will be the end of it. FDL are forced to tap out, not just of this series, but also of the tournament. DC will stay alive and move on into the next round in the lower bracket. Take on Team Liquid, a very tough opponent. Yeah. Yes. They definitely showed some signs of life in this early game. And I mean, the last game was a little bit rough just as well because of the drafting. But I don't think that they should be too unhappy with this. Yeah. Yes, uh, the other day versus OG, they looked quite good. So I think that's what they should look at and be like, you know, this was us playing at like pretty much our best. And we should just take what we could from that. Looking at these games versus DC, they look